All right, thanks everybody for clicking on this video. Um, this is what I did for my hot tub base. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I was agonizing over how to do this. I didn't want to dig down and pour a whole slab. I didn't uh, want to just sit on the grass either. Uh, so here's what I did. I went ahead and put some, just some concrete uh, cinder block caps, buried them pretty well flush with the ground. You can kind of see how I did it. Some of them are a little bit off. I'm by no means a mason or even a construction worker for that matter, but uh, I uh, double stacked the uh, the edge ones. This is it's a seven foot tub, so everything that you see double stacked with the two by fours is at seven feet. So that's going to be the outside perimeter of the tub, and here is the center. Uh, basically, I know it looks goofy on the ends, and that's because that's how I wanted it to overhang. I actually got carried away. This was kind of an engineering flaw. I didn't even necessarily want to do it this way, but by the time I had it all screwed together, it was too late. So everything's pretty level. I got my electrical stubbed up for, for the power. I got the uh, disconnect on the wall. So I fully anticipate this sinking. I would imagine it's going to settle down. I mean, you get five or 6,000 pounds of weight on it. I assume it's going to sink. I just figured maybe the concrete blocks would help disperse it maybe or, or keep it. Or hopefully the whole thing will just kind of drop down level. And I am going to be putting just regular uh, deck boards over the top of it like I do on my deck. The, I think that will uh, strengthen it up a little bit maybe make it nice and rigid not that it isn't already and then I probably didn't even need these single ones but I needed I'm actually gonna run the deck boards the other way from the way my deck is just simply because of the I was gonna buy eight foot boards and the way it worked out it just will work out better but you're only gonna see a couple inches around the outside anyway so but anyway like I said was I put these in these these uh, single ones here here and here just simply so I had something or I should say mainly so I had something to screw the deck boards to because I didn't want to go that long of a stretch without screwing it in so hopefully that'll be right I saw a couple of the other there are two other YouTube videos of people that built the wooden bases and I kind of started out that way uh, but I kind of ended up the little variation of it I was uh, didn't get a lot of the cross cross braces but I figured once I screw the deck boards over the top that it will kind of substitute for that so basically I've got probably about sixty dollars in ground contact two by fours and you know box screws and all day yesterday a 90 degree temperature digging in these these blocks making them all level, making them all, you know, they're mostly straight, as you can see. I screwed up a little bit, but they're still on the block, so it's not worth it to redo it. And that is about it. I know it looks like I'm not centered, but if you look at the double stack, it's pretty much right in the middle. There, there, and up here. I'm going to end up taking out my railing so that we can just kind of climb in from the, from the deck right into the hot tub. So I will definitely, in the description of this video, uh, keep it updated, I guess, if the thing settles or, you know, becomes unlevel for any reason. I did like the fact that, and somebody else brought up, one of the YouTube videos brought up the fact that if it does get crooked on me, I can always dig underneath it and jack it back up and shim it. I thought that was kind of nice. Once you get a cement slab down, you're screwed, unless you get it mud jacked or something, or... <clears throat> Uh, same with like if I put down concrete pavers, I'd be screwed in that respect because I'm not going to take the whole hot tub up just to shim up a couple blocks. So I kind of like this idea. Uh, I'd rather do a little bit of woodwork than a whole bunch of more digging just to be able to put a slab down and form it up and make sure that's all level. I don't have uh, transit or anything like that to make sure it's all straight. So basically I just have a four foot level and that's it. So uh, let me know what you think if I screwed up anywhere. And I, like I said, I will keep everybody posted in the description. Uh, probably not right away because, you know, you got to wait a little 
little while to see what kind of settling happens, but probably next year if anything happens. If you don't see anything in the description, everything's still good. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.